my sweet, sweet friends. Welcome back to my channel. So as we could tell, I am back on my laptop again. I'm currently in Seattle and my little camera, I don't like to really film with, to like set it up somewhere. I feel like it looks kind of awkward. So I filmed my what 2015 video on my laptop and I didn't really hate it. I kind of liked it. It was more like organic and this is kind of the same thing where it's just a sit down chatty video with us and a lot of you guys have been requesting this video and it's something I really wanted to do as well and this is going to be the year of you video. I've been talking about the year of you on Twitter and I mentioned it a little bit on Instagram and basically 2016 is going to be first of all just a great year. I already know like that I don't know I just have this feeling that it's gonna be a really amazing year and of course you your life is what you make it but I also just have a very good feeling that there's good things in store for me this year and I'm just like so excited so I wanted to talk about New Year's resolutions and a ton of you guys have been asking um, about my favorite podcasts my favorite books and I recently purchased a ton of books and kind of like tools I guess you could say for the year of you and I just wanted to go over all of that and talk about New Year's resolutions and how to stick with yours and everything that so this is going to be a chatty video. I'm going to tell you all about my New Year's resolutions and how I'm gonna stick with mine and my plan and everything. So let's just get into it. So I just kicked you, I apologize. So for my New Year's resolutions, I made two categories for work and personal. So for work, my goals are super simple and I my biggest suggestion with making New Year's resolutions is to make them realistic and make a plan for them. So for example, some of my work goals are to vlog like every other day. I don't wanna vlog every day and as we know, all my content is now on this channel, the Marissa Lee's channel. I just wanted everything to be in one hub and very easy because I was having a lot of people being like, oh, why aren't you uploading? But I was uploading on this channel and I just think it's very nice and simpler for everything to be on one channel. So I wanna post at least like basically two or three vlogs a week. I wanna post one fitness-based video every week and one beauty video every week. And then with this year of you, with my personal goals, I wanna post a video once a week to be like, this is what I'm doing, like this is what I did this week to achieve my goals and all this stuff. I kind of made myself just, I don't know, the year of you, I want it to be just like learning how to love yourself again. Cause if you saw my What 2015 Taught Me video, you guys kind of know where my head's at and where my heart's at and I'm just really working on that and I think that's why I want to do this series where it's keeping me accountable and holding me to my New Year's resolutions because these New Year's resolutions aren't just like oh lose 10 pounds oh like I don't know I feel like a lot of people focus theirs around very superficial things you know what I mean there's nothing wrong with that but I just want mine to be very just very beneficial if that makes sense. And then getting to everyone's favorite New Year's resolutions, obviously health and fitness definitely go into that. And one of mine is to work out three times a week. I was just talking to Chris and Rachel about this on their podcast, um, Coffee with Rachel, which I think the episode with me in it is going to be up Wednesday. So we were talking about, I was saying how a lot of people are like, oh, go to the gym five times a week, six times a week, which, you know, if that's realistic for you, that's great. But at the same time, I'm not going to put myself to this like crazy, like, I don't know, work out five times a week and then say it's week one of January and you only work out four times a week, then you're like getting discouraged. And I think it really just, you have to be realistic with your goals and set like small goals. Because if you're used to, you know, only getting the teeniest amount of exercise and only work out maybe once a week and that's like walking to the store and that's hard enough already you don't want to set these big goals for yourself make that like you know the next goal so not only do i have the goal of working out three times a week i also want to get into yoga um a lot of just signs have been pointing me to yoga and so I am trying to start yoga so if you guys have any you know classes that you like or anything like that let me know let me know if there's any YouTube channels you like and then also a very big question that I get is if I still follow if it fits your macros which I do loosely um, I'm trying to kind of focus more on things that are good for my body and just kind of listening to what my body wants and my body is in a really great place. I love how I look and like I'm just trying to focus on like health as well and like basically just having a better diet. My next 
next personal goal is to meditate every morning. I get a lot of questions about meditation and I'll do, you know, all of these things will have separate videos and they'll go more in depth. So definitely let me know what you want more of, what you want less of, I guess. But I get a lot of questions on meditating and I do meditate every morning. I try and that is the goal. And that's simply just to put myself in a really good space right in the morning. And um, I listen to guided meditation sometimes. I do kind of also do my own thing sometimes. There's guided meditation like audios you can listen to. Um, sometimes I just listen to drums like to set myself. Um, so yeah, I just meditate in the morning to kind of set my day off in the right foot and get myself in a really good headspace and like take time to just be grateful and send out gratitude and like think about what I'm grateful for and that's what my meditation is about. I mentioned these on Twitter, but I do want to go over some of my favorite books. And these are all very self-help books, spiritual books, whatever you want to call it. Um, so the first one, which I think everyone needs in their life, is the Soul Searcher Handbook. I am obsessed with this book. It is amazing. This is not like a sit down, read it, be super entertained book. As much as I am sitting down and reading this whole book, this is more of a guide. Um, it talks about everything from meditation to yoga to your auras and spirit guides and crystals and kind of why why she does that why she thinks that works um this book is just amazing and the woman who wrote it emma milden is an amazing human and this next book is amazing i am not done with it yet but i read the first chapter and i was just beyond amazed and very happy and this book is called adventures for your soul 21 ways to transform your habits and reach your full potential by shannon kaiser what i really love about this book is that it's like an interactive book so it's interactive there's a lot of things it has you like stop and do it, it there's for example, there's this part where it says Joy Journal Free Write and it just gives you questions where you answer them and kind of reflect, which I really like instead of just sitting down reading a full book and kind of just skimming over it. This makes you really think about it and I really love it. So really obsessed with this book. And next, this is just a little journal. You don't even really need this. I just really like it. And one of my other goals is to journal every day, whether it be a video journal, just in this journal, whatever it may be. And this is called the Instant Happy Journal. And it's 365 days of inspiration, gratitude, and joy. So when you open it up, every day is a different little quote, different little question. Another book that I think everyone and their mother should listen to, and I have it on audiobook, and I have the real book. It's called You Are a badass. Um, I can't think of the author right now, but if you just type it in, it'll come up. I really love audiobooks. Um, obviously, I'm not sponsored by Audible. I listen to all my books on the iBooks app. I think it's iBooks. I don't know. It's on my iPhone. Um, so those are the books that I'm reading. I'm really in love with them. I'm really obsessed with them. They're just like helping me so much get in a really good headspace, and I'm trying to spend my time more wisely now and I'm trying to be very conscious and very aware of my thoughts and what I'm doing so instead of for example instead of listening to music in the car I've been listening to podcasts or audiobooks and speaking of podcasts another goal of mine is to make a podcast and I want it to be like just like this like us talking and I want to answer questions and give advice and talk about the year view and what I did that week and what messed up and what bad happened and what I learned from it because that's something else I'm trying to do is everything that comes into my life and everything that happens and I'm trying to reflect and realize why that happened so for example as you guys know I went through a breakup and I was like why did that happen like I feel that everything happens for a reason and I think the universe puts people in our past or things in our life for a reason and so I was trying to think you know what did I learn from this what is the point of this and it really did teach me some great things and I just feel like every day is one step at a time and so with these new year's resolutions it's just I just want to be an overall better person the year of you is me finding myself and becoming who I want to be and with becoming who you want to be I have to figure out at the same time who that person is because right now it's like I just want to be happy. That is my biggest goal and I'm, I'm really getting there. I had a huge, you know, heavy weight on my shoulders taken off and it feels really good and you guys have been so supportive and, you know, maybe that should be one of your goals too, figuring out 
who in your life is not benefiting you and who shouldn't really be in your life. And I think that that will be a video as well. So if you guys have any thing that you want me to cover in the year of you or if you have any podcast ideas or any channel ideas let me know I want to hear what your guys's resolutions are and so not only with these resolutions like I said there's more than just making a list of things you want to do there's more than just the goal it's how are you going to get there so for example with my working out three times a week I want to do yoga once a week I want to just walk more do more I want to go to classes you know I think that with working out, it's very intimidating because especially on social media, um, a lot of girls are like heavy lifting right now, which is so amazing. Like, I think those bodies are beautiful. And I think if you enjoy those workouts, then do that. But if not, like find what works for you. Like if you just want to do a blog Lottie's workout video, or if you just want to like go on a long ass walk up some hills, like girl, do that. You want to take your dogs on a walk? Go on a long ass walk do you whatever makes you happier and I think that you know even if some of these things we do are just placebo effects for example everyone likes to talk about my crystals if those are just placebo effects then good I'm so happy they're working and so I just think that I'm finding out who I am and I'm making really big changes in my life and I'm so incredibly happy and just like I don't even want to say I'm that happy because I, I am happy, but it's like I know that I have so much more room to grow and I'm just like so excited for this year. So I hope this video was somewhat helpful. I talked a lot, 15 minutes of talking. Ah! So I will see you guys in my next video. I'm sorry this video is so rambly and kind of random, but I hope this helped. Make sure you guys go get these books. I love them. They're everything. Um, so yeah, I love you guys so much. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to let me know down below what some of your guys' New Year's resolutions are, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.